hell I'm doing. Like, I'm on 707s route right now. Keep it real. By the way, if any of you guys are playing with this and it's doing this to you on mouse and keyboard, it's because the v joy device has been clicked and it's active. Wow. You can set that for your settings menu. You're so smart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to say to that dude? <laughs> I'm sorry for complimenting you. <laughs> the game's a bit loud, is what they're saying. <laughs> I saw a naked man's big bed. <laughs> Why are you? I don't want to do Unica. I'm more used to Hugo. And I'm not doing friggin' Nightmare. Do y'all want me to die, like, constantly on this stream? Clearly. Can you speak up? Project voice actor? Oh! Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, give your, give your, like, your, your tidbit again. Which tidbit? The one about the controller. I don't think they could hear you. Oh, okay. So, if you're using mouse and keyboard, and you're having the same issue that we just had, uh, if you go into the launcher settings, and the input settings, it'll say VJoy device. Just turn that off. Otherwise, it's gonna read your keyboard like a controller. I don't want a nightmare. Can I cruise control? <laughs> like, what is wrong with y'all? Why do you want me to, like, do nightmare? There's no catastrophe mode in this one. That's only an E6. The Ark of Nepishtim, now out on Steam. Um, I, I edited E6, and I've played a bunch of East games, but to be honest, it's been, like, it's been a few years since I've beaten East Origin. Technically, I've only beaten Unica and Hugo's route. I never actually finished uh, the last route, the secret route of the guy that's clearly plastered on the screen right now. So, the claw. Uh, okay. Oh no, I can't see comments. Oh no. If you, I'm gonna cruise control. If you do very easy, they'll never forgive Daddy. you. I don't care. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn. So, like, you can hear narration in this opening. It's the only time it's voiced. Wait, Do what? cancel mode. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's the difficulty level they want is cancel. Cancel. No, um, no compromise to exceed nightmare. Just want to see. Yeah, so I will fight for my right to party. So, but yeah, there's like, um,. A narration in this opening, and it's actually, like, it's in French, it's not in English, it's the only time this is, like, voiced. Ah, uh, thanks, like, these are super baller things. Um, but even though it was in French in the Japanese version, we actually redubbed it, um, in French and English, uh, with somebody who was bilingual in French, because it's, um, the French version in the original is, uh, doesn't sound very French. <laughs> Uh, you know, no, no hating, but I don't know why the narration was in front. Well, okay, so East YS is like actually like a legendary item off the coast of Brittany, France. So I'm assuming Britain's like Bretons, Bretons, Brittany, something like me. Same sp same spelling as my name. Anyway, huh? Same place too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was destined. But, um, so I'm assuming it just does like that. It's sort of, I don't think they're overthinking it. I, Brittany. It's Brittany. I don't know how to pronounce French stuff. So, yeah, there's a narration. Uh, it talks about, you know, most of the lore in East Origin. East Origin is actually one of the more, like, tightly woven scripts, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it or, I guess, say it correctly. Um, it's just more like, before that, wait. Exceed is the worst. What? We don't have swears or anything. The lady was bilingual in French. She read it for us. She also spoke Esperanto. That was really impressive. I don't know anybody who knows Esperanto except for her. But yeah, it's um, it's sort of one of the ones that has a lot of character development for an East title. Uh, it was before, like you know, they started getting much 
further. I, we're not doing an Esperanto adopt. Stop like. <laughs> stop getting direct. Like stop getting like dramatic. Um. Damn, I'm gonna be out of this shit soon. Uh, from choosing from amongst. Wow, that's so British. Mm. I'm sure there are games with quadruple audio support. I mean, pro <laughs> things like Final Fantasy XV, which have like six billion dollar budgets. <laughs> oh, oh God, we have a French person in the chat. I'm sorry. Like I. <laughs> I don't speak any French, and I don't know how to pronounce it, and I don't know anything about French except for, like, the way English people, like, you know, mangle French like a deer. <laughs> a deer. Everyone makes fun of us for saying it that way. A deer. Oh, somebody requested the other day they wanted that, like, J.R.R. Tolkien language. Elvish. No Elvish. Yeah. No, no Elvish dub, no I want to do that one in the no, Star Trek no one. <laughs> Yeah. So I want a game. I want one in Elvish, Klingon, and then Google Translate. Google Translate is my shit. I know the song is amazing. Green chat. Yes. That's gonna learn. I'm gonna make it learn. Oh my god. Oh, you know, that would be so awesome to hear this song live. I really, really like Ace Origin's soundtrack. I think there's a few tracks that are inspired from other ones uh, in the series. Don't, like, quote me on that. I know the very first dungeon, um, has, it's a remix of a track from East 1 and 2 Chronicles. But, and I actually like the Ace Origin version more. Don't fight me. Uh, Do it later. No. <laughs> F you, I don't want to fight anyone. I'll kick the shit out of anyone who tries to fight me. That's why I want you to fight me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I guess I... Some words are okay. Some words okay. are okay. <laughs> I almost said okay. <laughs> okay. -er. <laughs> Some words are okay -er than other words. I guess so. Oh, man, we're like 15 minutes... Oh, 315! Did you know March 15th is my birthday? The Ides of March is my birthday. It's 3.15 o'clock. Well, it was 3.15 o'clock. Now it's 3.16 o'clock. Um, I know. Oh no, is the lag that strong? But yeah, I think this opening uh, is personally badass. Um, it was one of the- it was- I think it was the second East game we put on Steam. Like, the second game we put on Steam, not even just East. Uh, we did Felgana first. Uh, and then shortly after, we did East Origin. Uh, which was pretty cool, like, because I did Felgana. Like, like the whole reason I got involved, like, with Felgana is because, like, yeah, yeah. See, I said it first, uh, chat. I knew what I was talking about. Uh, so... <laughs> So, like, oh, hey, it's the tree. Uh, so, a tree's talking right now in the text. Uh, the Rota tree. Relatable. <laughs> you know what? Trees talk a lot in East. You didn't have to say in East. You could have just ended the sentence there. It would be <laughs> fine. <laughs> I read somewhere that, like, when you cut grass and you he you smell the grass, like, it's actually the grass, like, crying out to other grass that there's something coming to kill it. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Don't think that's correct, but it is metal. I mean, <laughs> but no, it's and like... I respect it. Um, so yeah, I did the graphics for all the previous East games, but that was back when I barely knew Photoshop. I would absolutely love to redo it now that I know uh, Photoshop a little bit better. I'm trying to figure out which button is continue, because we're playing on a keyboard now. Oh, yeah, I'm not a serious. keyboard person. This is Hugo. He's not the boy in black. He's my boy. Spoilers. What? <laughs> oh. Black isn't his given name. And you can see on the right, uh, like it's sort of cut off. Uh, but that's because we're playing in widescreen, and the initial game was never developed. 
for widescreen. It was developed only for standard. We we put everything in widescreen. Um, and even in Felgana, uh, when we first put Felgana out for like the first two weeks, uh, our idea of widescreen was sort of just stretching it, so it was stretch widescreen. So we used to call Adol, the protagonist for East, uh, Fadol, because he just looked really wide for like a couple weeks. Uh, but we fixed it pretty quickly. Uh, our programmer, Sarah, who did all that stuff, is phenomenal. So we were like, yo, this is this is pretty good stuff. Why are you, like, saying boy in black so dramatically? Uh, Pasacon Decon. I know who you are, I just don't know how to pronounce your name correctly. And I'm drinking beer. If you know the fact name... You also know that it was sort of a swear word in the Japanese. I'm not giving you fat all DLC. I don't even ask. Um. Oh. It's the keyboard making noises. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. It's the keyboard crying to other keyboards. <laughs> Something's coming to kill it. <laughs> yes. Which I think in the anime they call them Dark Factor. Oh yeah. The anime was pretty legit, though. I watched it, and I was like, damn, I feel like I'm in the 80s. This is so good. Yeah, the pictures are really pretty. Mm -hmm. For an old game, this is awesome. And, uh, it's still my favorite East game, even if I technically have not played the third route. Um, uh, I really need to. It's just time. Yes, it is, uh... Since you uh, mentioned it, it is part of the, uh, it is using the Nepishtim engine. Uh, three games in the East series use the Nepishtim engine. Uh, obviously, E6, the Ark of Nepishtim. Um, ah, sorry, beer burp. Um, uh, so, E6, the Ark of Nepishtim. East, the Oath and Felgana. And then, uh, um, East Origin. So East Origin is actually the most refined version of that engine. It's pretty awesome. I know that East Chronicles is old, but East Origin's pretty damn old too. It's been like, what, it came out in like 2006 or something in Japan? It was like over a decade ago. I was still in high school when this came out. By the way guys, in case you missed it, it came in late, or you know, we, there was a lot of hubbub in the beginning. We are doing a giveaway today. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, feel free to retweet our uh, tweet to this stream, link to this stream, and then you'll have a chance to add, get a key. Oh, if you played East Chronicles, uh, you're actually pretty much good to go to play East Origin. East Origin is a prequel to the entire series. It's the only one where Adol is not the like protagonist. Like, it stars three other characters instead. I don't remember how early, like, I think it's like 600 years before the start of East Chronicles or something like that. Something crazy. It has a lot of references, particularly to East Chronicles, but I think, like, and most people say you need to play, like, Chronicles first and then East Origin. I don't really care. I think it's just more like your mileage may vary. Oh, is it 700 years? My bad. I was 100 years off. But. Well, they called you out. <laughs> They're really calling you out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Man, look at that widescreen shit. It's so good. It's so good. With our Arial font. I shouldn't be calling out our font, though. <laughs> okay, so, okay, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Alright, so, I'm pointing to the TV screen. You can't tell, but I'm pointing to the TV screen. So, see the text box, like, where Xi'an is, like, yelling and shit? I mean, stuff? So, like... She's, but that used to be in widescreen, that used to actually stretch all the way across the bottom of the screen regardless of how big the text was. But I think uh, Sarah recently, like last year, implemented it uh, so that it would actually like resize according to the length of the text box. So that you didn't have like a huge gap uh, for lines. And yeah, this music is great. I'm not giving you a Comic Sans patch, don't ask. So these are all like a bunch of characters who are only in this game because like I said, it's 700 years ago uh, in the current East world. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Mm. And I guess that was kind of obvious. I'm gonna play this. I have to do... 
I have to fight in a minute. You have to win. I have to win. I hope I win. I'm on very easy. <laughs> <laughs> I just all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know the buttons because it's keyboard control. It says it defaults, but I set the buttons up to be something and I don't know what I set them to. Oh yes, pew pew pew. Okay. So all of the three main people no, oh, I wanna get those things. Okay. Um Yes, it is a nod to one of the bosses in Chronicles, but I think it's actually way more fun in East Origin. I'm actually not a huge fan of East 1, uh, personally. I know a lot of people swear by the bump system, uh, but I felt like story-wise, or at least like game design-wise, East 1 was a little bit too, like... It really was- it didn't hold your hand, but it also really didn't give you any direction. So you kind of just had to infer nothing <laughs> to figure out where to go next. I mean, I can beat it in like an hour. Don't you nanny me, but, um... But I like East 2 a lot more because I feel like the story is much, like, better in it. Like, I feel like they suddenly, like, upped the character, like, like, and they added magic, and I'm just rambling. But, no, like, they added magic in East 2, which I think really helped the bump sis uh, system. And I sort of liked how you had to, like, it didn't hold your hand like East 1, but you could also sort of just figure out based on the circumstances what you were supposed to do next. So, I don't know. I, I like East 2 more than I like East 1. But East 1 can also be beaten in like an hour, so you should buy it anyway. Oh, easy in East 1? Play East 1 on nightmare mode and then say it's easy. You have to play like freaking ping pong with the final boss. Which I'm sorry, I don't think anyone else in this room understands that reference, but... <laughs> I've played all the East games except for the Japanese-only East 5, so... Ping pong just makes me think of Little King's Story. Oh my god, Little King's Story is good, though. It is. I really think that's a cute game. You guys should buy that one, too. Help us make money. I want to be rich. I'm only like, it's like I don't really like playing East games on Nightmare too much because I started East Origin on Nightmare at home, but uh, I still haven't really gotten that far in it because it's freaking Nightmare. Because uh, I'm one of those people where like if a game is hard, my strategy is not to be strategic, it's really just to be stronger. So I just grind a lot. I mean, like, I've played other games, like, where the strategy was just dodge things a lot. I'm, like, skipping through the dialogue because I still remember it from, like, freaking five years ago. When the last time I played it. What? What's a glowing recommendation? I don't know what I said. <laughs> I'm out of beer. Dark Fact is more fun than Batman. I'm not... I don't really sure. understand that reference. As somebody who's beaten Dark Fact, I don't really get that reference. However, I do appreciate that your name is Shrimperer. <laughs> <laughs> this game doesn't have turbo mode. Oh, it's not a speed run. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a turtle run. Look, man, if it's like a demon statue and you throw some, like, anime magic at it, it turns into a save point. <laughs> so, that's that's how it works. I don't know if you can see me. Eh. Oh, hey! Check out my shirt. Since I'm here. It says kale. It's also green, so... <laughs> it's also green, so I'm, I'm slightly transparent. It's awesome. <laughs> Ghost. Yes. Uh, so I really like Hugo's route. I I think his weapons are the most fun. I like Unica's route too. Uh, Unica's awesome because uh, they're like the two default choices in the beginning. In the Japanese version of the game, uh, you had to actually beat I think Hugo's route to unlock Unica's route to unlock the third route. 
but uh, we sort of made it so you could choose which route you wanted to open first, I think, and then which, regardless of which one you beat, then you could get the third route, so you only had to beat one route. Alright. I can't dash yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's the jump of a man who can't dash. Speed jump. Here it is! Here's the song that's, like, actually in, uh, East 1. I can... I know! I love this game. Even though I haven't played it forever. It's still better than me. I've never played it. I uh, wait. I played it on keyboard before. Okay. No, I played it on keyboard, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> See, look at that. I'm still getting damage on. Look at that. Okay, look at these little blood footprints. Hold on. Hugo ate all of his Brussels. And, yeah, I like Brussels sprouts and broccoli. They're actually my favorites. They're my favorites, actually. I really want more beer. Though. Surprise me. I would really appreciate it. Thank you! Hold on, I gotta go over here. You also have Gatorade. Hmm? I don't want to have my Gatorade right now, actually. Uh, because it's unfiltered. Mm, that's fair. I want to filter out the gunk on it first. I make, um, vodka Gatorade. It's very good. It's not actually Gatorade at all, it's just it's vodka. It is definitely vodka, though. <laughs> it's very vodka. Half of that same is So yeah, the Eyes of Fact is uh, sort of like a really cool weapon. Um, it's pretty much unlike any other weapon in the series. Uh, at least as far as I'm aware, like everyone has like axes and stuff. Unica uses an axe. I think she's probably physically stronger. I think this music is so baller though. This music is so good. I like it way more uh, than the original theme, TBH. Yeah, the bloody footprints are awesome. You can actually turn them off in the menu, but why would you? Why would you censor yourself like that? <laughs> you know what? The children need to learn about blood. <laughs> the children, my children will need to learn about this. <laughs> I know this game translation was based on a fan translation. Uh, so actually, we bought the fan translation, but then we ended up kind of redoing it from scratch anyway. It seems, <laughs> so, it seems to happen a lot with us. Yeah. So it's really not based on the fan translation at all. <laughs> it's it's just kind of one of those things. Uh, we on the subject, all fact up is the best achievement name ever. Oh, thank you. I didn't come up with it, but. Thank you. I made these tutorial screens back when I didn't know how to use Photoshop. I'm really, really proud of myself. Uh, now I know how to use Photoshop. It is kind of a waste of money, like, on like a literal level, but I think like on a emotional level. You're kind of rewarding fans for actually going through the effort to translate a game they love. So that's kind of like, that's legit. I think that's legit anyway. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow. Thanks for being cool, y'all. Yeah, I think every fan translation we've bought, we've kind of redone from scratch to some extent. It's just, it's not anything against fan translators, it's just more like our style. Oh, look, I can float Alright. It's, yeah, it's literally that, like, you know, once you have, like, a system internally, it's really, like, hard to break it. Uh... Like, you think that, like, going off of somebody else else's work will help, but then you just have your own, like, personal style so much that it's just really hard to, like, suddenly revamp yourself for a whole different style. I'm sort of off the screen, I'm sorry. It's just the keyboard and mouse. I know, it's because of the keyboard and mouse. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nate is fine with me hanging out with him. It's true. Yes, we've known each other for, like... 10 years now, I think. I think it's been like 10 years, dude. Shit. Alright then. <laughs> We've known each other for 10 years. <laughs> Alright, see, check Truth this is out. Check this out. I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna float all the way down here. That shit's for real! <laughs> I know, right? It's kind of like Princess Peach's thing in like the original Mario games, except she kind of float, like, floats forever. 
I use that a lot in that pyramid level. Oh. It's a 333. Those, oh, fuck. Those Fudge. platforms shaking make me think they're gonna fall. They're not gonna fall? I didn't finish the F word in that thing. I said fudge. Alright, so I'm legit. This is when. Wow, I'm so smart. I used to actually grind right here at the spot when I was playing on Nightmare because there's just so much to like pew pew pew. Look at the prince! Yeah, boy! Shoes are never clean. Not when you're Hugo, fact. He's kind of an asshole. But he's my favorite. He's an asshole with the dark, like, you know. He's sort of. Yeah, like, he's kind of like Gapmoy. He's kind of like an asshole, but in a pure way. Gapmoy, yeah. <laughs> yes, just like Juven! <laughs> This is lost on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch this. You don't have to see this scene, I don't think, but it's just kind of cool. And I do say so. Actually. I can still play Smash? I haven't played, like, Super Smash Brothers? I haven't played Super Smash Brothers since, like, N64, when I used to be Pikachu and go to the bottom of the stage and use Thunderbolt. <laughs> so... I was the sniper. I was, I was the person that just basically cheesed the whole match. I don't know. Is there an AMA still? Is this AMA, dudes? I don't know what to talk about. I, I wasn't supposed to be on this stream today. I don't know what to talk about even when it's like my stream. I'm gonna save, even though like this is only for the stream. Thank you for giving me the level three. Yeah. I definitely did. So you're supposed to place some shit here. Um, I know what to do. I wish you could jump over that platform, but apparently you can't. I forgot. Okay. Oh, look at this system! It's really cool! So the entire game is basically one giant dungeon. Uh, so you pick up those little purple things uh, that I forgot the name of. And you get blessings and OSP. Oh, so you pick up SP, the little purple things, and you actually get all of your, like, stat boosts that way. Um, I think, what did I do? I always kind of, like, do increase SP gain first because, I mean, that means more SP. So, and then you can kind of legit go over everything else, so, yeah. Ah, oh, I have more beer burps in me. Oh, it's so awful. There's a texture on the walls, like in front of the class. What are you talking about? There's a texture on the walls. Shayla looks at the black pearl with the middle of the wings. Is it down? Is right it that? down there? That right there. I think that's what they're talking about right there, directly in the center. This? No, on or the this? wall. On the wall. Pearl with two wings. Falcom's design, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, the aesthetics. Oh, that old Tumblr answer. Aesthetic. I know, I'm pointing to a thing, y'all. Can you. Oh, frick! I was looking at the chat! <laughs> Censored. I'm very good at censoring myself. I'm an expert. I'm sure, like, as soon as I walk out, our boss is gonna be like, What were you doing? What was he doing? Alright, English. Mm-hmm. Aesthetic, yeah. My aesthetic is Geiss, actually. Oh, look up! Geiss is a character from E6. He's also playable in E7. He's super hot. I had to write him. He's kind of a dick. But that's, that's kind of hot in its own way. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Me that SP. That's gonna be completely useless for the street. Phrasing? What phrasing is there? What phrasing did I did I say something wrong? 
Um, Brittany, your vodka Gatorade is literally vodka. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not Gator, it's not Gatorade at all. I call it Gatorade because it looks like Gatorade, but it's actually, uh, Skittles and vodka put together. You can look up the Skittles vodka recipe online, it's great. Uh, it basically lets you drink pure vodka that tastes like Skittles. It's fantastic. At some point, though, I, I seriously need to beat, like, the final route in East Origin. Um, I got, like, a setup at home that I can finally, like, record at the highest, uh, settings and stuff, and- Oh! <laughs> you asshole! You wow! I did! Wow! I just destroy. Um, so I really do want to beat the third route because if you've played this game before, then you know that basically the final boss theme to East Origin is probably the best final boss theme. Uh, in the East series. Uh, if you disagree, I I disagree with you. That's really all I have to say. It is an invitation to fight, so thank you as one. Yeah, yeah, like... I, I think you're wrong. So... It, it's, uh, I think the final boss theme to East Origin is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's, it's very sexy. Uh, which, take that as you will, if you've never heard it. All right, I'm gonna... Yeah, win still! Yeah. All right. It's the Rota Fruit! If you don't know what the Rota Fruit is, you have to look for these little things called Ruse, and they love Rota Fruits, and they will give you shit in exchange for the fruit, because they're hungry. So, actually, if you play East Origin, please uh, collect that. East 2 Overdrive, I don't remember. Cute. Yeah, the Roos are really, really cute. They're actually throughout the series. Um, in East 2, you can actually turn into a Roo. And what's kind of awesome is that you can, when you turn into a Roo, you can talk to actually all the monsters in the game. And they have different dialogue. It's a really neat thing. Hmm. Demonic Pickards? Dude. Dude, no. Just imagine to as a generic death flag conversation. Like, today's the last day on my police force. I'm actually retiring tomorrow. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, a lot of them are really nice, though. Like, because they don't attack you when you're real. Here, let me show you a photo of my kids. <laughs> and then you just turn into Adol and kill him. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, police real Rip. When I get home, I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're laughing at this. We're like, ha <laughs> bye, monster. <laughs> Enjoy your wedding. You right. can't, you'll be dead. Well, that's the, that's the joke, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't get it. Oh, frick. I forgot, I forgot to go Can you tell it's been a while since I played East Origin? I've beaten East, like, okay, so I played East Origin up to... The in Nightmare up to the second boss, which again, my strategy was just be stronger than everyone else. Uh, I'm really just not like, unless it's an SRPG, I'm really not like into strategy. <laughs> and by like SRPG, I mean more like tower defense actually, which is not an SRPG. Frick! Get away from me! Ah! I forgot, like, I don't know what button uses the freaking guard. Oh, there it is! Yeah! Damn it! <laughs> Alright, look at that! I've doubled my eyes! Yes! Yeah! Alright. I didn't explain that at all. Um, so you can actually use, like, a boost mode in this game that doubles your eyes and gives you special abilities and all that other stuff. Um, I already ran out of it. You can see it in like the bottom left corner. I've forgotten about most of this too. I'm not really like... <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> so, I I'm like really... I really liked East Origin back when... Oh, whoops. I was supposed to open that. Oh, Emerald! This will boost your wind stuff. And then you press this and the door opens. 
I think a boss is up here. <gasps> Who is that? That's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Ryan walked in here on accident. It's two legs now. I know. He didn't hear your greeting. That's <laughs> really upsetting. Now he'll never know you care. <laughs> <laughs> Much like my brother, my attacks might take a toll on you. What the F? That's such a bad joke. Oh, look at this, look at this! Isn't this the most badass view? Like, this is really cool how the camera moves and stuff. Look at that. It's a run, Mew Mew. What? It's alright. Why is he apologizing? Fun. Oh, yeah, I don't like puns. How dare you? <laughs> I had I had to write puns for Cold Steel 2 and I hated myself for it. Excuse me. Beer bro. I feel like that should be it, my hashtag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the whole thing, the hashtag. Mm -hmm. I do it a lot on stream, and I feel really bad because it's so like unladylike, right? For a 2006 game, this game is absolutely freaking beautiful. I I'm really oh hey, blue moon crest. Hey, look, it's that thing. It is that thing. I don't know what that said. It's the ruse. They're speaking. How dare you not know Rue language? <laughs> I didn't learn this in college. <laughs> in college. The ruse don't attack. Have you ever? Have we ever fought a freaking Rue in the East series? I don't know why he's talking about attacking. I don't think you've ever fought a Rue. They're always really peaceful. Nah, what I like about East Origin is that, like, it's super- So, like I said earlier, it's a dungeon crawler, essentially. You are in one giant dungeon, and you're going up, and each dungeon, like, area has, like, a theme. But, like, it still has the character development in between. It still, like, is so heavily focused on each character that it stars, and it just, like, it gives you just enough story to be satisfied if you're, like, a story fan. Oh no, I took every class in demonic language. This just mm. looks like ruins. But I think you can actually, like... Give it the fruit. I am gonna give it the fruit. But I'm just like, I think you can actually translate it to, like, a legit thing. It's not just keyboard smash. It does look like actual ruins, though. Like, you can actually translate this shit. Not that I can. Not that I can actually read it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's actual ruins. Yeah. My wand's been strengthened! Yeah. Did the person who wrote their dialogue have limitations? I mean, I'm pretty sure this was... Because this is a rather serious East game uh, compared to others, I think it was written very faithfully to the original. Like, there wasn't really any liberal, uh... Like... Because usually you kind of take it liberal if it's something fun. Not inaccurate. Liberal just sort of means like you localize it to be the same humor as whatever language you're in. Um, you're writing in. But yeah, there's really just like... I think this one was pretty straightforward and dry. But I'm not... Uh, I didn't edit this game so I really can't uh, say. I just think that the this translation is baller. Also, Hugo x Epona for life. People can also fight me on that. And for all you like Hugo and Toll shippers out there, what the f? <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna come to fight me. Let's give her a break in between fights. Should be fine. I exercise. I lift weights, so I can do this. And human weights when you throw them across the ring. Ah! I got the menu! How do I get out? Okay. I'm good. I know. I'm not used to keyboard. You set up all the key bindings, so. though. Yeah, but I don't remember anything. <laughs> Even if I did know offhand, I wouldn't okay. be able to help. I don't have to fight this guy, I'm just sort of... Doing it anyways. Okay, wow, I feel... 
<laughs> I'm gonna get across this platform. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, but now I want his SP. Alright. Pew! Pew pew pew! Okay. And, uh, since, like... Uh, I mean, you do get, like, new weapons and stuff like that in this game, and new armor and stuff, but... Uh, you'll notice, like, little, like, things dropping. Um... And little points and stuff but that aren't SP, it actually will increase, like, your, uh, I think your strength. Um, it'll increase your defense, and I think it'll increase, like, your experience up to double. Something like that. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Are you gonna wander? No, wait! This area is where I got my thing. Yep. Yeah. Pretty sure the I'm overpowered. I don't, I don't care. I like, definitely okay. No, the door where you tried to open was that seconds. No, no, no. The door I opened is where I got the roof from. Mm -hmm. No, no. The, I, I gotta go back had, to the beginning. I yeah, the one you had to play something. Yeah. Wow, it's been a while since I played this game. Me too. Imagine Adol going to Laboro. He can't go to Laboro. Where is he gonna shipwreck? I guess there is water along the world. Yeah. I'm gonna fight the first boss. Uh, I think it's called Duckwellian. Don't quote me on that. Outcom boss names are weird. Uh, I mean, they're weird in a good way, but... Look at that. This dude can attack me and I can just be like, nah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So yeah, you can see like... This thing right here, it, I think this is the one that ups your defense. And you can see in the lower left corner above uh, Hugo's head that it actually will have a limited time where it stays that way. And as long as you keep, like, getting it. Um, hey, I can save here. All right. I made this graphic, too. Uh, you're good. Yeah, the boss subtitles, if I recall, Tom said he keeps them relatively close to the uh, Japanese title. Uh, because they're just kind of Ingrishy, and that's kind of awesome. Oh man, I know this fight. I'm gonna die in this fight, even though it's not very easy. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that vote of confidence. Ah, <laughs> uh, his name is- oh, his name is Muscular Man. Excuse me, I'm not gonna say his name until his name is actually said. <laughs> I like how Hugo's the one who enters and is like, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't- like, okay, die on very easy question mark, question mark, question mark. You guys underestimate how bad I am at action games. I play ease, but I am not good at it. This is- oh my god! Introduce yourself! Oh, there's Kishkal. Okay, so Kishkal is the name of the place in, uh, in, uh, E6. There's lots of references. It's, uh, well, bye, dude. Alright. This is Epona! Not like the horse in Zelda. Everyone says that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the beer just hit my teeth. <laughs> this is a really. I'm actually really hurt. Okay, yeah, I forgot that you fight Epona before Vogwillian. <gasps> that song is so baller, right? Like, the ruined city, uh, Kishka, like... No, like, I love that song. What? I like Epona because I ship her- well, alright, watch me die. Fudge! Ah! ah! She's actually really hard on Nightmare, in my opinion, but every boss is hard on Nightmare, in my opinion. Ah! I can't aim on keyboard! 
I'm so used to controller! Shoot! <laughs> Can't believe it. Wow. The shit that you set up and you just kill her. <laughs> She's not dead. You killed her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you would talk about this ship and then just kill her. This is my ship right here. This is my favorite East ship right here. Hugo and Epona. <laughs> wow! <laughs> mm. Stop killing horses. <laughs> <That's the favorite> <laughs> <laughs> wow! Pay your respects that the ship has sunk. I can't believe y'all. I'm so offended. <laughs> no, I'm actually really happy with the way Epona is written uh, in our localization. She's very informal in the Japanese, uh, and that can be interpreted in a number of ways. Uh, Tom went ahead and did, like, very straightforward dialogue, but very slangy. Oh, thank you for paying your respects. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. To whom are you referring? That's how you know a localization is legit when it uses whom. <laughs> it's like that scene in Pokemon we revive her with our tears. What? <laughs> <laughs> and our Fs. Oh my god. Oomst. <laughs> Oomst. I've seen so many Persona 5 parodies with Hoomst. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> I platinum Persona 5. It's it's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. I'm I'm Persona pimping for Atlas. I'm pimping for Atlas right now. Play Persona 5. It's a good game. I have not played Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I, I had Platinum Final Fantasy XV. It was a very easy plat. It only took me 120 yeah, hours. <laughs> Whom's to thought? Yeah, I mean, seriously. God dang it. I, I gotta be pure in my dialogue. Gosh darn it. Oh my god! That reminds me of this part where, like, Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z is wearing his pink Batman shirt, and he goes, My gosh, darn it, in the dub, and I started laughing. <laughs> it's like, you're such a badass, and you're saying, My gosh, darn it. <laughs> I love the Dragon Ball Z dub, by the way. I think it's fantastic. They're wonderful people. I'm not making fun of it, I'm just... Oh my gosh, darn it, for a villain. I absolutely agree. <laughs> oh no, where am I? I'm not supposed to be here. My gosh, He's darn it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, I had a huge crush on Trunks when I was a kid. As many of us did, I went on the Temple of Trunks website, where I got to see Dragon Ball Z and Simple Plan, um, Lincoln Park AMVs. I watched a bunch of them. And if any of you guys want to make a Lincoln Park Cold Steel 2 AMV, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> it's not really. Yeah, it is kind of a request. Oh my god! No! I meant to jump! Yeah, I'll, I'll like give you a freaking code for one of our games if you do like a legit not, not like a shitty one but if you yeah, do like a real like moving one like yeah that. like something within the end preferably oh frick i did it again oh my god <laughs> i'm not used to keyboard dark magician girl wow Yu-Gi-Oh fans in here i mean she's pretty cute <laughs> she is pretty cute but what about little karibo a pretty cute little animal. Not in a sexual way, okay. Like, that's kind of creepy, <laughs> actually. This is a very, like, rated T for teen stream. <laughs> I'm just letting you do your own thing. I know. Frank, what do I do? I'd love to be able to answer that question. 
No, no, I'm no. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get the. There's a shit I have to wear. Wait, things I have to wear. What was my first anime crush? It was definitely trunks. It was definitely trunks. All right, I have to figure out how to open the menu with the keyboard. Yeah, I have to get the mask, but I don't remember how to open up the menu. <laughs> Using the keep Ah! Yes! Alright. Mask of Eyes. Oh no! Fudge! That wasn't what I was supposed to wear! <laughs> I have to walk. Is it the necklace? What do I wear? I don't remember. No, 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 there's a secret. Like, the mask, like, opens up secret paths, but I don't remember. I don't think it's that early. You're supposed to do what? You say the door like I'm supposed to know what the door means. It's been a while. It's been a freaking while. <laughs> To take off the mask for now. I don't want to take off the mask. Okay. What if I just want to like be vulnerable to enemies? <laughs> I swear to God, I've beaten this game. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Delete. Close this game. I don't remember Please. how to open the menu. Still, Was I pressed. It space? A... Was it space? Oh wow, it was space. <laughs> All right. All right, chat. Tell me where to go if you're so smart. Tell me where to go, cause I don't remember. It's been a few years. Right now, I'm OP, so. Oh yeah, it is four o'clock, but I mean, I'm I'm fine. I'm trying to get to the floor. Unless you guys like are like, wow, this is the worst stream ever, and you wanna like quit. I don't care. Go to the western hall. Cross the gaps. So you're telling me to go left. Fall through the boss arena. Oh! <laughs> wow, I'm an idiot. Take another drink to continue his origin. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Wow, I'm so stupid. Of course this is continue. <laughs> Oh my god! See, like, I knew it wasn't the mask. Wait! Well, then I just go further down. See, like, that's not what works. <laughs> yeah, Twitch plays East Origin. Make it like Twitch plays Pokemon. I watched a whole lot of that. And yeah, let me tell you, it really was great. Like, in a really weird, disturbing way to see, like, just... People slammy like he. It was practically keyboard smash. <laughs> Did you see uh, Twitch plays Dark Souls before they put in the vote measure? What? Yeah, they did Twitch plays Dark Souls, and at first it was just really good for the website, and that was nightmarish. As basically the character rolled into the point and he dropped in about six hours. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, the guy that made it was like, "Well, I'm going to put in a vote measure," so it paused every like half a second so that everybody. Could <laughs> I mean, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> they did beat Dark Souls, but it was not pretty. I was amazed. I was literally there live going out uh, which place Pokemon beat Pokemon. Like, the first one. It sort of loses its, like, loveliness. I know there was a goldfish that played Pokemon. Goldfish. Yeah, because it was like wherever the goldfish was positioned on the screen, the game would play as well. Right. Yeah, it was it was pretty baller. Ah! Okay. Got it. Do a Twitch plays Trails in the Sky. Do you want to get stuck behind treasure chests all the time? I understand that bug exists. You just kind of have to use your mouse to like wheedle through. Wheedle is a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going through this door again. I know it's through this door, I just want to kill things. 
sorry, I tried to talk loud. Is Nate not like Nate is a voice actor as well? Yeah. Everyone but Brittany isn't talking loud enough. Also something about Clark. Oh my god, I'm so Brittany. stupid! I have the freaking key! Christ! This is where I use the eyes! <laughs> oh my god! I know this is where you use the eyes. This is where you see Hugo. The other, not Hugo, the other kid. I'm Hugo. <laughs> I've been drinking a little bit of beer. Brittany is Hugo. The kid with the glasses. Where's my freaking hole? Freezing. <laughs> I like that you just arbitrarily fired and you hit something. No, because the ep that's not my beer. That is a microphone. <laughs> I just grabbed the microphone. <laughs> Isn't it cool how the story makes you remove like an item you will quit? Rico! That was so good. Wish I was Superman. It does kind of look like Superman, right? Like Clark Kent. Oh yeah, I remember when we interviewed him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he saw in our office was like, Clark Kent, you have to hire him. Now I want like a shirt that will have like yeah, it actually does, like, it's pretty transparent. I still say we gotta do the whole green Zentai. Somebody's <gasps> just dancing in the background, they don't notice till you turn off the green screen. Oh my god, like, <laughs> like it's always sunny. Yeah. That whole full green. I love it. Right? Exactly. <laughs> you won't know until we turn it off. One of these days it's gonna happen and it's the stream you aren't watching. Oh my god. This is where you see Hugo. Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Green Man. I love Green Man. What a fantastic show. It's a great show. I watch it and I feel like I'm a better person when I watch it because everyone's everyone, terrible. Everyone's terrible. It's a really great, like, that's what you. Okay, so this item is what you use to get past that area with, like, the gravity shit. Alright, alright. I don't care what you're saying, Hugo. I got the item. That's really rude of me. I'll, I'll talk to you one more time. <laughs> this is- wow. He's like slant- so Musha is the girl that has a crush on Hugo, so Hugo doesn't have any clue that she likes him, and he's sort of a dick about it. Like, he's just like, wow, she's such a useless girl. And it's like, wow, shit, dude. Calm down. <laughs> But Hugo's hot, it's okay. I guess. I love rum ham. What? Rum ham? <gasps> what is that? Rum ham? That's always sunny. Danny DeVito no, just no, soaks no, the no, ham and rum? No, 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 <laughs> I, I didn't notice the thing was popping oh, okay. up. Like, Twitch streaming people are doing a thing, and I didn't know what was going on. No, I went <laughs> My favorite episode is still the Indiana, like, the Indiana Jones, like, style episode where they're stuck in a closet for half the episode. I don't know if you remember that one. Yeah. I love that episode for some reason. <laughs> Yay! Alright, so... It's a toss-up between the game gets analyzed and the game beats bombs. Oh, I also like the D gets audited. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a good Twitch person. I'm really just here for the beer. I'm really just here because being on stream allows me to drink alcohol during office hours. I think I can go right now. And I should be able to beat, um... No, there's like a boss. I'm gonna fight the boss. He spits like he vomits things. Brittany versus Sarah Valentine? Oh, okay. Ah! I have to beat the things. I guess I could be Sarah Valentine. 
Yeah, every X stream I'm gonna be drinking something. I'm not gonna like do this sober. Rip, I'm out of here. That's fine. Yeah, we're ending it soon, so I'll uh, I'll sober up now. <laughs> Oh, that's the girl I was talking about. <laughs> oh no, I like I really like the designs of this game. I actually follow the artist for East Origin on Twitter. <laughs> There's like in East Origin, there's like a giant search party that's uh, looking for the goddesses. There's like two goddesses that are prevalent in the East series, uh, particularly in the earlier games. Um, and yeah, like they're kind of looking for them because they're just like, oh god, they're in this tower full of demons. And like, they're normally on this floating island. They're not normally on the surface of the world because the surface of the world is like not, it's not in a good place emotionally right now <laughs> so yeah this tower is sort of like yeah <laughs> it's been a while since i played this series i don't remember the details your cat is sleeping on you but well, we need pictures yeah pixar didn't happen uh, let me see praise the goddess I will. You two do the same. See you later, Hugo. Yeah, praise the goddess. Now that you're localizing a new thing, you can get out of there, right? Wait, what? Praise the goddess. Now that I'm localizing a new- what? Like, I don't know, non series. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not working on a Kiseki game right now, so... I've said that like 600 times on Twitter, that's not a secret. <laughs> yeah. I, I am working on something non-Falcom for like, the first time in years. Yeah, my my current like mystery project is like I, I I don't have to. There's no goddess in it, so I'm pretty sure that doesn't break NDA. If not, whoops. But. All right, let's go. Woo! All right, fudge. Okay. Kill me when I have my guard up. Try it. Alright, I need to get to, like, Buckwellian. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't know what kind of game it is. I'm working on it, but I don't know. I don't know until NDA is revealed, and then suddenly I know everything. <laughs> When's the giveaway? Yeah, I don't know much about the giveaway. That's that's for the, the, the behind-the-scenes people. The link to the stream. Where do I go? And for the Twitch giveaway, like this one Yeah. I'm getting my boots on! Oh, whoops. Notice how the boots are at level one. I don't even level up the first one. Oh, fudge! <laughs> oh, fudge! Please play East Origin. If you don't win, please purchase it for $19.99. But you better win. <laughs> I mean, you better hope you win, but if not, you better buy it. Because I just sat here playing it for you guys. Oh no! I can do it! What up? You can't do anything! I know! And then they'll spend more money on us! <laughs> yeah! You should buy it- no, don't buy it again. Dude, like, I mean- oh, whoops. Um, I should be playing again. <laughs> like, um, I mean, it'd be cool if you bought it again, but at the same time, if you've already bought it, you've already, like, supported us, so, like, that's legit. 
I like how if you keep ramming into enemies, it sort of does like this remix movement thing. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I'm really close to the boss, I swear. See, that's the beast medallion, that's how you fight the dude. You bought it three times? Dang. Gosh, thanks. The what? What a gosh, medallion. It's awesome. Not also according to him. Twitter winners? I think you misspelled it. I think that's like my game is such a mystery. Twitter. <laughs> I love these usernames. <laughs> Saying? No. You're a voice actor. You Go for it, voice today. actor. <laughs> All right. So, Twitter people, get ready. The two winners are Pillow Bard, which is awesome, and Manic Computer, which is also awesome. Why I'm walking around this place like I'm actually gonna be playing with Stable instead of like doing it for a stream. I don't know why I'm doing that. Whoa! I speak! I'm gonna kill the slime! The slime has appeared. What do you do? I don't remember the run. I'm not gonna freaking run, I'm not a coward. <laughs> Never stop running. Forrest Gump your way out of that slime encounter. Mother fudge, where do I put the medallion? Oh no, wait! I gotta put on my eyes. Do I have to put on the eyes? I don't know. Fudge. No, I don't have to put on eyes. I don't have to put on shit. I gotta just go play this game. Look, I've never played East Typing before. I'm sorry, I don't know how to play East Typing. And I make so many typos. <laughs> like, that's something really good for, you know, an editor to say, I guess. But... Yeah, that's why I have, like, many proofers per title. Alright. Let's get a boss fight. It's not yet, I have to get the metal in first, but I'm gonna Look at that, like one of my eyes was missing for a second. Like one of Hugo's eyes was like not there because it got stuck on something. But it's kind of cool Sorry. that it actually like moves over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that shit is so cool. Look at that view! Actually, it reminds me of a view in uh... Xanadu next. I still haven't played Xanadu next. I really gotta get on my shit. I I like the soundtrack. I bought the soundtrack off of iTunes. Which, yeah, pretty much like Nihon Kakam, the developer, has like all their soundtracks on iTunes. You should probably buy them. If you... What the hell? Get on my level! Like, literal level. The one thing is supposed to be a pun. It's just... Get on my eye level. Thank you. Yeah, if I played e uh, Xanadu next on stream, like y'all would be here for like eight hours, and I would still be on the tutorial. I barely know what I'm doing on a game I actually QA eight years ago. <laughs> Look at that! I turned on the wind thing, and I'm not supposed to do that. All right. Look at that! Watch me turn this into a goddess. A non-jump. Yes! I wonder if I have enough things to uh, accept a blessing. All right, so I have Absolutely. 20. I do. I have 28. Um, I'm gonna increase my armor. Look at that! I got blessed. Hashtag. <laughs> I got an achievement. Ah! 
Oops. Uh, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. Um. I don't really need the stationary heal rate for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Look at that. So blessed. So hashtag. Alright. This is where I put in the medallion. I'm gonna die here. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. This isn't up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't played Tokyo Xanadu, so no spoilers, please. I've only played up to chapter four in the Japanese version and chapter one of the English version. Or no, I only went through the pro uh, prologue of the English version so far. I got distracted. So, no spoilers, please. The games I have played, you're free to spoil. That's not true. Yeah! Wow, doesn't look like an area where a boss will appear at all. We like to call these the round zones. We don't know why. What the heck? I'm lying to you. <laughs> That's actually a really cool design. No, the bosses in this game are fucking legit. <laughs> Fudge! I was so good! <laughs> tried so They're hard. so legit! Oh, really? Oh, nice! Ah! On Nightmare? I beat this boss on Nightmare. It's so hard. Look at that. He's vomiting. That's like half of our office right now. I'm gonna pee pee pee. Ah! Oh, look, I took six damage. You're so six strong. Six damage. <laughs> Maybe you just jump and rub it in his face. Yeah. Oh fudge! I got stuck for a second! <laughs> Look at that, okay. You, you can't vomit far enough. Not like me. <laughs> There's a fact there. Oh fudge! Fudge, 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 fudge! Okay. Yes! I should have boosted! Oh my god! Look at these, look at these, look at these little guys. I get an EXP. Look, okay, so you can slide on their, like, whatever you call it. They're slime. Oh no! Six in. I'm going very easy, and I'm still taking it. This is actually the worst stream that's on Twitch right now. <laughs> Oh my god, I got 11 damage! <laughs> look at the freaking stream! <laughs> okay, so this kind of reminds me of like those- Ah! I can't get on it in time! Fudge, I hate keyboard! Oh no! I'm so bad at keep- Fuck it. Okay. Wait, is he waiting for me? Is he like even- yeah, he's being polite. Wow, what a polite bad guy. He's giving you a chance. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, he was so patient. I was gonna say, this like reminds- the laser reminds me of a minor test of strength from the Zelda Breath of the Wild game, which I just got. Because, like, those things shoot lasers, but they never actually hit you. It's more for show. I mean, these actually hit me, but... Well, I'm not doing that, okay? There was one area, there was like one of the towers where there was like a billion of them aiming at me. But like, what I did was kill one of them, and then I just sort of like, kept hiding from the others. It took me forever to climb that tower, but I did it, and I can tell I wasn't supposed to climb that tower forever. like 50% damage. And he's at like 50% damage. Perfect. Yes! And I know he's gonna be polite. I never knew he was gonna be polite because I always played with freaking controller. Right. Okay, maybe he's polite on very easy. I swear I'm not this bad normally. 
There we go. Oh, that's not good. Yes! Boost your eyes! You can slide on the green vomit. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to god, I'm so much better than this. He's screaming! I know this camera angle! Let him yell. I'm really only used to playing keyboard and mouse on Corpse Party because honestly, controller is so unnecessary with that game. I mean, well, no, I played keyboard and mouse with Trails and Star. Because I had to. Uh, I played SC at home with my Surface Pro. Everyone's gonna be like, wow. Who the fudge is this person, like, working on these games? So bad. I didn't edit this game. I edited these like, six. I kept that usage automatically makes so it free. I knew what I was doing on this. I beat these six. Kill. I mean, fudge. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my god, this is far too much. <laughs> this isn't a story of seasons, Trini. E6 is kind of harder, but admittedly, it's because the game is not as fine tuned. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Pay respects for dead bug. Uh. <laughs> H. H. <laughs> I guess that's the opposite of paying respects. It's like hell. Alright, so that's gonna be it for our stream. Yeah, I mean, pretty much you just go on to the next dungeon in these games. So that's pretty much it. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining. Um, yes, thank we'll you so much. Be sending out the keys soon, so wait for those. And if you already have East Origin, which I know a lot of you do, mm -hmm. give it to your friends. 